Hello everybody, Darren here and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now in the last episode we began preparations to go to war with Arthur Gasparov. He's been a thorn in my side for pretty much 100 episodes now. And after we wiped Lady Margaret off the map, Arthur slowly expanded and kind of filled the void left behind. He took pretty much every island available and then he began to bully Benty Jorgensen, taking advantage of her good, innocent nature until she had almost nothing left. This forced us to keep her alive through the use of pirate fleets intercepting his fleets and defending her coastlines for her. Recently, Arthur has been attempting to even buy out my islands and even going so far as to drop propaganda on my capital. Ladies and gentlemen, this madness has to end. So recently, we had a windfall of influence from the latest DLC and this influence is being used to build up my defenses on my most prominent islands, build new ships and also have the capacity to actually hold islands once we take them, which is very important. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Taking islands, waging war, destroying Arthur. It's the crack of dawn. We've rallied together some airships. We've got a whole brand new fleet built. Lots of defenses on our biggest islands, like I said. Spotlights are aiming up from the flak, flak cannons, waiting for any sign of the airships trying to take on Manola. Also loads of armor piercing cannons, flame cannons at the back, repair cranes, harbor masters sounding off on the dynamic loudspeakers, <laughs> keeping the defenses going. We're ready. Now, there's various stages to the how ready we could have been. Of course, I could sit here just farming influence forever, 10 hours, 20 hours, you name it. And we could have thousands of influence and raise a fleet of 600 ships, but that'd be a little bit boring, a little bit too easy. I've let some time pass, I've made some ships, I've made some preparations, but ultimately, one of our fleets is this size, the other one is our OG pirate fleet, we then have the airship fleet, and that's basically it. Other than that, there are defenses on numerous islands, we're protected, hopefully, in the Arctic by some flak Telegram monitors. Boy. Again, spotlights aiming out, looking to the skies. But we don't actually have much defenses on this island. On these other ones, we do have a little bit. And of course, bombers can come in and basically wipe out our gas. So we'll see. You know, I expect to lose a few islands here or there. To be honest, the, probably the one that's the most at risk is Crown Farms. I've built nothing, and I've got nothing there. But neither does Arthur. I've been looking around the theaters. He doesn't really have much in the way of military fleets. Maybe that's changing slightly, but I'm going to risk it. It's going to be fine. And then down in Embesa, I've built a bunch of cannons and things as well. Now, influence again is getting low. I've invested, I don't know, probably like a thousand influence into military right now. Something like that. And uh, it's mostly in these defenses. It's just a deterrent to keep Arthur and his fleets and his patrolling airships away from my biggest islands. Now, if I do lose islands, it's not that big of a deal. We can hopefully get them back in the future. I can go back to an older save and just have a look at how they were laid out and just rebuild them, you know? The rebuilding effort can always just commence just fine in between episodes, so you don't have to watch me doing stuff I've already done. Anyway, without any further delay, let's just commit to it. I feel like enough time has passed that I just want to get started. Now, ultimately, the... What's the word? The tactics is to target islands that I make ships. If we can happen. cut off his ability to make ships, well then it should be just a domino effect of knocking down islands after that. So this island here, Flanur, is having a carnival right now. And they seem to be the place where he makes his airships, his military airships, which is everywhere. And of course, as soon as we're done taking out the biggest islands, we get the hell out of this session and get over to wherever we're needed next. So let's bring the, the airships off their patrol. Not only do we have them just in a little handy little group here, we've got plenty of stuff. 300 bombs, 200 sea mines. We are ready. Now, I've actually just actually defended Benthi Jorgensen from another attack. So she kind of got set back a bit again. And honestly, she really does not put the effort into rebuilding that much anymore. So not seeing too much resistance in this place anymore. I was initially, which is why I brought so much up. Uh, mostly this is just, I think, what is it, one, two, three, six battleships, nothing crazy. Ready they got some action. items on them to make them a little bit better. You know, our flagship here, the Celestial Four. Let's just rename this, I already have one, but we're going to name it the Caesar. Got to do it. And then we've got three little monitors, is it? Three flak monitors and a couple of flame mon monitors right there. They're actually the blue flame monitors, but we see a red flame either way. All right, so that's that fleet. We're going to... 
slide on down right here, sneak around the side, wage war, bomb the coast, take out the airship hangar, hopefully destroy this island nice and fast, before then we move on to probably this one over here, and then circle back to our own. So what I'm planning on doing is having our fleet... Where are they? There they are. Just kind of sit around and defend, just in case, so the little pirate fleet can go around defending. The bigger battleship fleet are going to be the ones actually attacking. If we recover any influence, we'll build some more ships. And of course, we should probably get look into running a new stadium event, just so we can actually hold some of these islands. So we'll start it now. They should have pretty much enough of everything. Ex oh man, that's going to be a tough one. Furs and champagne. So we do have airships that can go back home and look to pick them up. So we're going to go to Lusk. So back here at Lusk, I built a couple of extra little defenses here, but again, not much because there's just no coastal space really available. Although on this side, we've got a little bit more. Again, some smaller mounted guns, some bigger cannon towers. Oh, we're ready. Just about. Um, so yeah, I might put on a hold, which is going to be a little crazy on saying don't consume champagne because we're going to have to go just grab it. And what was the other one? Furs. So if I just also <laughs> tank my economy and just turn off this building, we should be able to just pick up all those furs. So I'll have to remember when those ships get here, gotta pick them up, bring them back if we want to get that influence. Otherwise we'll get a little bit, but not enough. Alright, let's commit to it. The airships are now pretty much here. We're going to do the honorable thing and ally Benti first. That's the way it goes. You mean we weren't allies already? We were allies, you just didn't know it. I was out Are there defending the whole time. I'd love to tell her now, you know, we go behind the table, behind the scenes, and we say, Benty, that was... They weren't pirates. It was us the whole time trying to help you out. All right, Arthur, you little piece of... Sh Let's say, a screw you. And a mimic. Mm hmm And declare the war. Shameless it's the honorable thing to do. To Not just suddenly spring it on them. Got to do it the right way first. All right, let's get moving. Makes it more interesting. Ship under attack. Ships are on the go. Actually, we're probably going to have to turn off that warning because it's going to get really Ship repetitive quite quickly. This is, these are the guys who are pretty much ready. Going to put them on a patrol stance, actually. So you can patrol, can patrol pretty much around here. All right, and they'll do a little circle and they'll take out any of these smaller ships. Now, I'm guessing the ships that are under attack, nothing really that important. Just smaller little Your things for now. is under attack. That's a decent sized fleet he's actually got in the old world. Harbor's under attack. Ah, it's not really though, is it? A fire <laughs> broke up. We'll be okay. We're gonna get a lot of that for, for sure. Alright. Ship under attack. Attention for the Admiral. Commence the bombing run. Actually, we'll, we'll wait just to get these other guys just up right as they're ready to crest the corner. We'll come in with the uh, bombing run then. And hopefully that'll take his airships offline for good. As far as I can tell, it's the only place he makes them. Your harbor is under attack. Fleet on the move. That's the one that's most important to me, just if I'm ever getting attacked by a harbor. See, this is Cape Trelawney. We got nothing here, and he's just picking away at us. But it's just one ship. We have one ship cannon, right? Attack. They can fire back, I'm sure. So that should be fine. Should be fine. Ship. All right, are we ready to go? I think we are. Let's go. Bombs. Bombing run right in there, please. We've already oh, blasted... His airship hangar, it's gone. Ship under attack. We're going to have to tell these guys to get out as soon as they're done with it. And really, yeah, drop run in progress, okay? Has been Let's go! Wow, those ships at the front are taking a beating. Probably a bad idea to do this with the entire fleet, I guess. Because they're just going to die. There we go. Finally. Keep it away from my skull. All right, let's fire our cannons. Ship under attack. Ship under oh my god, he's making ships right here. <laughs> well, let's just keep attacking his uh, base for now. Yeah, one of our airships got destroyed. That's okay, though. It's not too big of a deal. Let's fly to the other side now. And we'll drop another bomb on that side because there's some defenses over there. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Alright, we should be totally fine to keep going with that. Let's just get another one of those airships that we just lost. We got a baby one. 
taken down. Your yeah, so that's not. Resistance is crumbling. It's not gonna fall until he uh, loses this. So we have to wait till we get up there. All right, let's fire the mortars. Airships are coming in now. This is what our flak guns are for. Got three of them. And the bombs are going down again. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. First island down. Conquered. All right, airship battle over the mountains. Let's go. Ships under attack. Enemy target established. Ship under attack. Holy shit. <laughs> Ship Don't let him get away. Prepare to fire. Ship under attack. All right, excellent. So let's just tell them to say, stop telling me about ships under attack. It's fine. Don't worry about that. In fact, I'll just turn that off, even though it's, some of it's going to be important, but it's either that or we have it listen to, listen to it constantly. There's runes in my cities. What's happening? Holy crap. Build that back up immediately. Holy crap. That needs to, that we cannot have, we cannot afford this place to go. <laughs> That'd be insane. We'll be fine. That'll be fine. Don't worry about that. All right, are we ready to swoop in yet again? The airships have taken a bit of bit of damage, and they're getting a little close to there for some reason. Oh, because I told them to chase that other guy. That's fine. That's fine. All right, let's bring him back. This is for Benty. <laughs> Just remember that. Just trying to see on the radar. Do we see much else around here? Not really. I think we can kind of swoop in now and go for this place as well. So let's have a look at what we got. Got two guns here, one big one at the back, three on the side, the main one as well. He has a shipyard down here, so this is a crucial place to attack. We want to hit it with the bombing run at the same time if we can. Let's try this again. How thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. I think the swoop actually is it's kind of weird the way it's doing it. So we'll just click to here and then go across. Bringing the boys in, let's go. A couple of these got the sea mines on, so what we'll do is we'll send them out. Maybe actually even send them back home. Maybe. Keep it away from my sculptures. Light him up! Fucking light him up! Uh, this one, this one was better. <laughs> That's all he's got left, right? I don't see anything on the other sides. I'd like to see you do anything. You will turn majesty into a monstrosity. All right, we're negative influence. That's okay though for a little while. Now you've got more islands than me. Aha, uh -huh. we'll give them all to you, Benty. This is all for you. Oh, we've got the sad music now. <laughs> Bring this to the new world, of course. Manola, please. And you're going to go over here and pick up, hopefully, some... Uh, what's it called? Champagne. All these ships are under a little piecemeal attack here and there. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. All right, back we go. That's the two biggest islands taken out. That's his airships and his naval recruitment until he builds more. So we might have to go take a detour over our own islands and then fly up to get repaired. We're, we're hitting ships left, right, and center. Now, how are we everywhere else? The Arctic? We've got a battleship, lone battleship cruising around. Our flak monitors are okay. He's got a few airships in the distance. He hasn't gone for any of our islands out here. In Cape Trelawney, same sort of situation. He's not hitting any of our big places. In Besa, he's still just circling around down there. Nothing too bad at all. He could go for one of these smaller places. He's got nothing to defend it. Oh, I didn't so we'll see if he does. Alright, we've taken that out. 
Um, there is this little baby island up here. Maybe the pirates could do this on their own. One, two, three, four, five in total? Hmm, maybe. The other guys are better prepared. Just trying to think where these guys need to move to next. You guys definitely need to go and repair. The repairs are all the way back up here, though. It's quite far away. Although, we, actually, we do have repair kits. Forgot about them. There we go. Yeah, two of them are repairing. Maybe let's just send the one that's not repaired, yeah? That would make the most sense. Alright, everyone else can stick with us and keep, keep the attack going. So we're going to creep in here next. We'll bring the pirates with us for this one then, actually. That makes the most sense. So once they gather here, we'll hit this island. And then we'll just mop them up one by one and get the hell out of here and go protect anywhere else that needs it. Okay. Hopefully we're okay everywhere else. It seems like we probably are. Let's just pick up that champagne now. My I'm sh says money dominate me. trying to buy shares. Can you imagine? Desperation. Small airship's almost there. Alright. So, well, yeah, we'll pick up some champagne and we'll try to take that to the New World. He couldn't defeat an island of mine. That's good. Good to hear. <laughs> no defenses. Just pure luck, I guess. Alright, give me that champagne. I told people not to drink it. That should be enough, actually, I think. Let me just check what we have in the New World. So, that's 99. Oh, that's just a <laughs> that's just um, a pirate fleet. Whoops. Fire left runes. Okay, so let's check in Manola. What do we have in terms of champagne that's here in stock? Uh, Twelve, and we needed 150 or something. Oh, but some of it's probably already gone in. So what do we need? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we have enough then? Great. Get out of here. Try not to die while you're at it as well, actually. It's going to be kind of difficult. Let me know when you get there to the edge, and then I'll send you out. Right. What's next? Let's go back to morning time. I was going to do something here. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Lift the... Uh, allow them to have their champagne. It's time for celebrations. Almost. Ships are under attack all the time. Oh, no. The chocolate. Oh, the humanity. Got no military vessels out this way. I was hoping that defenses would do the job, but he's gonna harass my lines a little bit. But that's okay. Ships can be replaced. <laughs> it's islands that'd be the worst thing. We're positive for influence now because of the things we've lost. Alright, they're almost there. This needs to be out of this group, otherwise, I'm gonna keep sending it in by accident. I'm confident it's ready to go. Oh, uh, Enemy siege repelled, war well declared, and juicy island acquired. De devious hostile takeover success. There are runes in my cities. Oh my god, you hit the town center, or sorry, the marketplace of bird's eye. Rebuild some of our defenses there, not a problem. Your ship has this was Benti's original oil. island, we gotta go for that, it's personal. A lot of our trade does flow right past here, so that's a bit of an issue. Should we make a, a battleship? Why not? Make one battleship. At least our Docklands is safe. That's the real important thing. If I lost an island like Tabarim, any capital island in any session, it'd be really, really big setback. Putting it very mildly. All right, these guys are almost here. We're almost at the corner. So there's just two big islands left to go, and then it's an all small ones. So very quick indeed. Then, I don't know if I should do it before the war is over, but I'd like to just release them so Benti can start going out and taking them for herself. But probably wise to at least leave it until we're sure that Arthur's not going to come back for a while. Fleet embarking. My um, bomber fleet's ready to go again. And, uh, oh yeah, so on this one, I've actually got tons of pamphlets. We could make a run over... Uh, Arthur's home island. Shall we do that? That should be fun. 
All right, so we're going to try to fly to... Yeah, Lusk could be safe to get to. We've got a, 200 pamphlets to drop. Tell them that they're on the wrong side. Defect. Um, so, what do we got? Sea mines? Oh, man, I haven't used them at all yet. I keep forgetting to. Might not be a bad idea to send the two sea mines somewhere where they'll be useful. So, go back to Lusk as well, actually, you guys. We'll use them in the old world. Actually, he's on a bit of a predictive path out in the new world, so maybe there. Or, um, in Besa. Let the new wave of ideas oh my begin. god, he defeated an island of mine. Ah, oh, I was just saying I was going to go to Mbesa. Maybe uh, losing your island will polish you off. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I expected to lose something. <laughs> That's part of the fun. <laughs> Where are they now? Which ones did I just select? Bomber 1, Bomber 2, Bomber 3, Miner 1, Miner 2. All right, miners, you're heading off to Mbesa. Get to Tabarine. Ready for order. You guys, you need to pick up more of those bombs. Which I think we've got some more, a little bit. Ah, it's hard to see them sometimes. Did I just go buy it again? I don't know. Oh my god, come on. Where are you? Somewhere here, definitely. There they are. Okay, cool. Yeah, bombs. We need sea mines. Alright, so the we can change our production now. Come down. Destroyed some of my buildings. Make some bombs again, please. The fire left ruins behind. Alright, that's good enough. Stations. You guys, fly out this way, please. They'll be there in no time. We could just swoop in with this. This is big enough, I think. Oh, he's, bru he's bruised and battered. Moving to coordinates. Can't actually remember what was on that island, the small one. Some sort of spices or something like that, I think. Thick fleet coming in. Fleet en route. Awesome the power. Firing everything I have, every shell. Keep going, guys. You need to move up. Your ship has returned to its point. All right, gonna look away from that for a minute. We have the. Oh, we just got it. I'd like to see you do anything. You will turn majesty into a monstrosity. Right, you've got the champagne. Bring it to the new world, please. I see you're exploring yet more islands. All right, our propaganda ship Engine's is here. Engaged. We're gonna fly pretty much straight right over here. I don't think it's gonna do that much, but it'll make him unhappy. Now there is a. I'm seeing a lot of flack, actually. We could take a a more unorthodox route, maybe. <laughs> This ship is so good to go down, though. He's actually quite well defended that island. Maybe we'll wait. We'll wait. Especially because it's on its own. All right, so nailed it. Next one over. Let's go right here. These three can drop their bombs over this way in a moment. Stations. Good. Do your repairs. Whoever needs it. So these are just the little piecemeal islands now. He's only got like three or four defenses for each one. Pretty much. Uh, and then also we need to drop off this stuff, don't we? There we go. The fur has arrived. You guys can sit outside now. So that's just for the soccer stadium again. So we're halfway to running out of time on that. They need uh, about 70 more champagne. They're making the costumes. They've got plenty of those. That's fine. The tortillas shouldn't be a problem, and then 70 furs have just been dropped in there, so they should be fine for all that stuff. Not a big deal. Ah, uh, you fool. You're after going way too far forward on your own. That's a shame. Some people said, why don't you get white flags for your ships? It's because I got like 100 ships, you know, doing trade, so... 
Not really worth it. He's dead. Wish I could smoke screen him, save him. Just light it up, guys. Just light it up. We'll pick up the captain, though. He'll be okay. Gonna have to have a look around and assess any situation, see if we need to get out of here anytime soon. Alright, got it. I'd like to see you do you will turn majesty into a monstrosity. Alright, let's hop around. Let's see how it's going everywhere else. So the old world. Any major threats? I'm looking for blobs of ships. Like this. We're losing cargo ships all the time, just from his defenses, no doubt. Your ship has returned from its We got no defenses on this side. We've loads of defenses on this side, just not on that one. For him passing by here. So he's hitting my repair cranes. That's a good move. <laughs> a fire broke out. Not gonna deny it's a good move. What about Cape Trelawney? That place seems okay so far. When the the ice Arctic. Breaks, I want Arctic. You there with me. That's deep. All right, everything looks okay. Let's hop back to the New World. Fleet ready. Let's come in for another bombing run. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna say just do it right here, and then fly on past Where are it. My muses when I need them. Fleet awaiting orders. Where are my muses when I need them? All right, our bombers are coming through. I learned that tactic from Arthur, watching him do it to Benty so much. Sorry, Nate. He's disappointed in me. I'm a bit busy. <laughs> Alright, the island's done. <laughs> Good. Okay, just gotta do that a few more times here. How much more do we have? Um, not that much, actually. We can start moving our airships now into different places. I see you're exploring yet more islands. Kind of, Benty, yeah, kind of. All right, so we'll circle around this way. We'll come around to this island, and then it's pretty much a straight run all the way around. Yeah, ultimately we just need to get to there and then there. So we'll just queue up that move. Left ruins behind. So these guys are repairing. It's fine. Ships do repair actually eventually, even if you don't do anything. And I forgot. Yeah, we made a couple extra airships. So just make another one or two. Can't do it. We're out of sails. Oh, interesting. Hovering. Sails. I think we make some up here. I'll have a look, though. If not, we can just send them from the old world. I think we'll hit the old world next, actually, just to clear out. Oh, no, well, that is nice to leave his big island for last. But it's annoying that we I'm just watching my cargo leaks. ships go down. <laughs> leave a few leaks. God bless you. Oh Where my god, he hit scaries. I need them. He hasn't killed it though. He's only taken one island so far for me, it's the one in Mbesa. This one here. I vaguely remember building it, but I just don't actually remember what it was on it. Bird's Eye has the... Oh, crap. Let's drop some sea mines right on him. See if I can do that. I don't know if it'll work out, but we need to do something. He's just hitting me. Island's under siege, so it cannot be repaired. Won't have the time to build any defenses. They're all cut off. Jeez, I didn't realize it had gotten so bad. Fleet ready. They're going so slow. We're going against the wind and carrying a payload. But maybe if we drop right mines right on top of them, maybe we'll save it. This is trickling down very slowly. A fire broke out. Because he's not actually attacking the defenses and the defenses are shooting back. Look at that. Perfect. Just do that and go straight. I want the mines dropped on their faces. I 
They won't drop at all though either, so it won't be too bad. Alright, let's hop back to the new world. How are we doing? We're cresting the island, taking the turn. This is almost completely my new world, which is good. This is getting kind of low though. Come on guys, <laughs> it's taking so long. This would be a pain in the butt to rebuild. This sucks as well, man, because just, he's just outside the range of our things. Our mounted guns. They are attacking correctly. We're prepared. It's almost fire. tempting to drop Let's like half of the uh, payload just to get there a bit quicker. Oh, he's got another battleship coming around as well. Oh, leave Let's the village fire. alone. Maybe he's backing off. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh my god. We're so slow. Please hurry up. The fire. Come on, man. The Elite gunner. Behind. Elite airship gunner. Attack range 10. Accuracy 10. Maintenance cost increase. Stations. Come on. <laughs> go, go slower. Broke out. Ready for one of you need to go that way for him. Although this one's the one that's weakest. So I have hope. Disobeys a pretty way. All right, we're going in. He's still got a bit of time before we. You're good. Drop the mines. Yes. Fuck yeah. The blocks simply have to come down. Come on, oh my god, it's so close. We're dropping mines. Don't do it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Survive. <laughs> Survive. How many mines do you have left? Oh my god, they only dropped 10 that time? That's insane. That's great. We'll drop them again. Keep doing this. I'm going with the wind on this one. Moving to coordinates. Just in case that battleship shot at us, because we just screwed it. Wow, the mines are pretty good. All right, we'll do that. Hopefully, that'll do count for something. Come on, guys, you can make it. These two are absolute heroes. All right, that's good. Uh, let's just keep doing that. Oh my god, they've got little airships as well. These guys won't make it. You guys, you got to get to Mbesa now. All right, we're turning the corner to take out this island. So one, two, three, four in total left in the new world. Not many. Fleet ready. Come on, surely by now, Just right? We've done it. Can't repair anything yet. I'm not allowed. But there hasn't been a ship near here in a while. Workforce shortage. Yeah, 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 I know. You'll be fine if we could just let you repair or something. Two minutes, 50. If no more damage is dealt, the Iron Siege will end soon. That's a two and a half minutes, though. Ready for action. <laughs> Interesting. All right, let's brighten it up. They're just hovering around quite close to me, but I think we're going to be okay. All right, let's go. I might separate this fleet then. We could do two islands at once, I think. Maybe. 
I just probably need to be just a bit quicker. Also, um, we need to deliver sails, and I never delivered the other thing. They've got 10 minutes remaining. Right, you go back home. Or is there sails here? Because there's construction material, I think. Uh, no, there's not. All right, go home. We'll get you some sails. Firing the cannons. Pretty much all on the same spot, basically. Get that one, it's it's pissing flames on you. Fleet ready. I'd like to see you do and you will turn. Alright, we are negative for influence again. Right, let's get moving. This is where we need to go for the next one. There is just I this little baby island, this one, and then this one tucked away in the side. One of the new ones that was added recently. Oh, all right, back to Mbesa. We have one minute on the clock to keep this island defended. These two are absolute heroes for what they did to defend this place. That's all I'm gonna say. Can they pick up something? What was dropped? They're actually full of mines right now anyway, so it's fine. Well, We've got other I ships on the way as well. He couldn't defeat an island of mine. You're damn right he couldn't. With his one little frigate. Ba -bum -bum -ba -bum -bum. Oh man, you had to go through the tight bit. Didn't you? <laughs> 29 minutes of a cooldown before it can be taken back. Three minutes for the first island we ever took before that can be attacked again. But I'm not seeing any ships. I keep looking in the bottom left. Not seeing anything down there. And then what I'm probably going to do is I can load up the a previous save, have a look at all the ships I have, you know, just like the counter, and then see which groups have been like, you know, which have lost some cargo ships. And that way I can just put them back on and away we go. It won't really be too big of a deal to just get the Where supply lines back up and running. I need them. Fuck yeah. All right, we did it. We defended. That was a close one. What are you lacking? Oh my goodness. They don't have any wood here. Cargo stations. Oh, you guys are all having issues. We'll put you back on in a moment. Let me just dump this stuff for now. You're part of the war effort now, boys. Let's go over this way. Area Drop that stuff off. And we'll put you back on the thing afterwards. No roots are having major issues. Stop lying to me. Everything's fine. Attention for the Admiral. And soon enough, the other airships will be here. Look at them go. The bomber, one, two, and three. I don't think they've got any bombs on them right now, but still. <laughs> Alright. Pick up as many sails as you can and get going. We want to make some new ships. We're out of influence, actually, but we might be able to. These are all the islands we have now. Get to uh, Puerto Benus. Hey, we made our battleship. Uh, to Mbesa. One little extra ship might help. Might might make the difference. All right, here we are again. New world. The fire left ruins behind. Let's get our big blob together. Stations. Anyone that shouldn't be picked here? Not really. You are actually all the way over here and ready to go now. We'll get them to join on the next island. All right, I want you to go here and then swoop in that way. Tabby, Tabarine. You know what to do. You know what to do. Oh, wow, we took it down straight up. Good shot. So thinking if another ship comes by, we're dropping those mines. Those are basically like bombs. Because I was just dropping them right on. I wasn't even sure if that was going to work. Um, I thought, you know, they really had to... Um, sail over it, but I guess not. We got okay with that. So we have 17 bombs. It's something. It is something. But at least we're here to defend now more in the air. That's really why they're here. What do you reckon? Should we sea mine this guy? It's just 
we're really slow with the amount of mines we're carrying. Yeah, I think stay here is probably just a little bit wiser until we get the materials together. Fleet ready. Workforce shortage. Those flame cannons are absolutely devastating, especially to wooden ships. Oops, I activated pirate mode by accident. Ambitious with you will burn majesty into a monstrosity. All right, so this will be the next one. Oh, we actually built um, a new shipyard here. Sweet. So we'll go over and take that out. Interestingly, there is a battle cruiser here. Oh, we're not using. He's defeated an island of mine. Ooh. This is in Cape Trelawney. That was my fur-producing island. It was just built purely with f fur, basically. Now, I've got no defenses whatsoever on uh, on this place, so I'm just going to build something. I think I can get one thing down. I will choose when to scrap my work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, are we ready? Let's go. This has been fun. <laughs> the Golden Fleet. We're either pirates or I've used the kind of um, regal skin. The blood simply had to come down. He's annoyed I destroyed one of his buildings. Yeah, I would be too. One of our ships is in pirate mode, that's why that's being attacked. Excuse me, it's kind of a mistake. Our flak monitors, shoot, the, shoot them out of the sky. Good. Alright, we'll circle around, go for the coast, and then there's only one other island left in the New World. And then it's just a cleanup job after that. I didn't really plan on having them all stacked together like this, but I guess it's just the way it is. <laughs> you can go to um, Cape uh, Mbesa, please. I love the fire service. They help me a lot. Please, ready. Should we go for an air battle? That'd be fun. We have all these sea mines on, on board though right now. Nimble, agile. No items on any of these, do we? Oh, we've got a couple. Yep, got a few. Let's just have a quick look. So some of these are new, right? We have the airship munitions loader. Damage per shot, attack speed increase, accuracy. Same thing here, really, attack range accuracy. A little different, I guess. Got another one then. Movement speed, loading speed, cargo slowdown. That would actually be good. Oh, it is on the miner. That's good. Damage per shot, attack speed, accuracy. Mm -hmm. She's a bit different as well. Damage per shot, 20. Attack speed, 25%. Accuracy, 10. Attention for the Admiral. And they've got five ships total. We'll have six when our other one gets here. Um, so, we won't really be able to hit them, but they'll be able to hit us, so we have to go around this way. Ready. 
Am I still in pirate mode? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry. They're like, there's one pirate amongst you. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Island holding firm still. Can drop off the sails for future shipbuilding efforts. And I just realized this has been empty because I forgot to deliver them cotton. So we can save uh, 500 workforce turning those off. And yeah, we got the sails now and we have the influence to make some of these guys. Damage per second is 52 with these bigger ones. Let's get a couple of those. Oh crap, the um, the pirate bay <laughs> has actually sent some ships out to deal with me. I'm just gonna have to activate pirate flags then and take them out because they're gonna sink my ship if I don't. That's why it says for sale. I could just buy it <laughs> mid fight. I don't have the influence though. You need to get over to the repairs. All right, we gotta commit to the island, come on. I don't know if they're going to make it, but Godspeed. I'm going to face much more. Do you want to buy a share? Do you want to buy a share? Hey, I just bought your share. That's what you get. <laughs> I'm not mad. Kill that little thing as well, please. Stations. I don't think I've lost anything yet. These guys seem like they're okay still. This one is really weak. Airship's down. Good, 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 good. Still being hit by pirate ships though. God, so loud. I suppose expansion is all they a Pyrphorian battle. Oh my god, that was so loud. I'll do my best to edit and lower the noises in this. Alright, we're gonna fly over or uh, move over here. Heal. I'll probably station a couple ships to stay here. Maybe the old OG pirate ships, and then we'll take all the battle cruisers with us. We still have to take this one last island. Other than that, though, we're good to start freeing them up and letting um, Benty take over. Or hopefully go for some of them. He's got a clipper and an airship. All right, we're going to have an air battle. Aerial warfare. We've got all small ships. Force transfer disrupted. Oh, what? Oh, no. That's not good. They're hitting the commuter pier specifically. You really do need to get to the old world just to protect these islands. Oh, the damage, man. Barely made it. How's that soccer game going? I'm sure they're living life. To the most magnificent meeting place of the new world. Championship in progress. Great. That will give us the influence we need to just either make more ships ship or from its void. take more islands. Well, but we can seemingly just take the islands, right, and go over the limit. That seems to be no problem, but I can't do anything Fire else then. Left ruins behind. I'm just going to tell you to travel individual now. Just get up there. That means that they'll, they won't travel as a group. The fastest ones will just go. The other ones will be left behind. That's fine, though. So these are actually all bigger ships. I didn't realize that. I thought they were all the small ones. Well, that means we should easily win that fight, I think. Just don't want to be directly over one of his ports because it'll fire up at us, I think. But our guys are together, so let's get moving. Stay as a group, you guys. Alright, back to the new world. Our boys are pulling in. Anyone that's full up on health, you can pull out. Are the OG Caesar is here. The Royal Caesar.
That's the battleship Caesar. That's right. Our battle cruiser is here now. Let the games begin. Kind of tempted to actually send them to the old world. I think they're probably best served if they just can get to. I'm trying to think of which way they're going to come in. I think they'll be okay to come in this way. Yeah, just get to rush. You can do that. So if we're in Besa, in Besa, oh my god, I don't know what that was. We're probably going to come in from somewhere over here and scoot past here. It might be a little dangerous, but hopefully they'll make it. And they're going to go for this island. This one is being attacked right now. And that is not good. We need to do something about that. We need to do something about that really right now. Which way is the wind blowing? Which ones are the mines? You two. As much as I wanted to fight there, you gotta rush to rush. And you'll be going with the wind. So hopefully, good speed. Might be, be maybe, I mean, I don't know, but maybe get there in time and like throw down the mines. Maybe. <laughs> it's, it's worth trying something. They're the only guys available. Otherwise, rush is gonna collapse. And I've got nothing else. Like I could make ships here, maybe? Almost make um, a battle cruiser. Battle cruiser is on the way as well, and we do have pamphlets we can drop. Not the best military weapon, right now. Armor holding, Admiral. All right, you guys pull back, pull back. You guys get in. You pull in. Aboard it, aboard it. These guys are like super fast as well. Ship of the line reporting in. All right, we're almost ready to go for his final island here. He's actually got a few ships there. He's just built a shipyard. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, he stacked the island. <laughs> it used to be basically empty at the start of this, I think. Uh, well, let's not dilly dally. Let's get going. The others can join later. Perhaps a more elegant A rusty nail in the enemy's socket. All right, we're back at rush. The attack seems to have stopped, or it's really slow. Like he's firing, he's spinning up. Oh my god, this tactic! He's just spinning 360 battleship, firing on all sides. Oh, actually, they don't fire from broadsides. They just have mounted guns, don't they? Yeah, <laughs> it's still cool to see. Poor guys. Look at them. And they're like perfect town. They're under attack. They don't even know. The poor kid, the kids playing in the playground, they don't know what's about to happen. Their lives are about to get vaporized. It's like Terminator 2. The playground. Sarah Connor's banging on the, the fence like, you don't understand. You're all crazy. Battleship's right up in their face now. Where's the airships? There they are. They're halfway there. That's not bad. There is a chance. And if the wind stays good, is it still just facing the same way? It's actually not, but not terrible. It's not against us either. This will be the last thing we'll probably get to do this episode, see if we can hold that island, because we kind of need to. And then hopefully get done here in the New World. I'm surprised he didn't attack the Arctic. I mean, he did apparently try. It could be because of the defenses, you know, obviously if you put down defenses, then the, the AI goes, zone. well, I can't yeah, take, I can't take this island with what I have. So I do believe putting down defenses in certain places was a good idea. Like I built some Workforce here, shortage. and it says island holding firm. There's four guns, actually only three, that one's not built. Three guns there, shortage. three here, and then three out here, or four even. So Workforce shortage. I spent a lot of the influence going around making sure all that was relatively stable workforce like, shortage he does have ships actually coming in right now like i don't know i've got mortars on these ships to hopefully help me <laughs> yeah he's coming in actually now, these are just flak monitors so i don't think they're really going to do much oh we missed our shots that's not good moving to coordinates Hmm, doesn't really look like he's doing much. Is he gonna just target my little flak monitors? He could just sit there and destroy them with his battle cruiser. We can't attack him. I missed my shots as you just saw. 
Damage from ships negative 20 and active healing by lobbing over him. Alright, still waiting on the airships to get in here. They should be arriving now, I think. There they are. They're in. They're on the side of the map. Alright, well, they know where to go. This is actually staying basically the same. It's like really slowly going down. So we'll get them to drop their mines right on this battleship. That should save the day. In the new world, back to the new world. Our guys are just about ready. These other ones are just about healed as well. It's just this one guy left. He took a beating. What is that symbol, actually? Minor fires are on the ship. That's interesting. What does that do? Slows movement, slows attack. Affects stage three to three, six minutes remaining before the fires are put out. Okay. Stations. All right, we're going to be going against the wind with some of these ships. He's just one ship of the line there. Moving to coordinates. These guys actually need to stay as a group now. Alright, what do we got? Big gun, small gun, flat gun, flame gun, bit of everything. I need to check that actually really quickly. Just keep moving. Oh my god, you're taking a beating. That's the flames for you. Oh no, that one's down, I think. Yeah, man down. We'll have to pick up those items, make sure we get them. Cannot pick this up. I wonder why. Alright, GG. That is Arthur gone in the New World. Now, he's got one ship remaining and one airship. So we'll just move over there. Let's check the uh, rush. Do we have our airships? Airships are here. Alright, we're going to fly over. Drop. Hang on. Alright, we're gonna drop the mines. He's looking at him, destroying my Docklands. Ready for action. Alright, we're just gonna have to keep doing that. Open the bay doors. Yeah, the selection is different if you've only got one ship selected. You can, like, choose two drop locations, but if you only got one ship... Uh, if you've got two ships, you can only set one direction. Fleet awaiting orders. Alright, they've defended the island again. These, are, these guys are absolute heroes. I don't care what anyone says. Heroes. Heroes of the entire series. Those two ships. Alright, so the situation, a little bit of a sit rep here at the end of the episode. We've taken Arthur out completely in the New Worlds, just about. They just want to chase down that final ship there if we can. Let's make sure we get him. Uh, then we're going to go now back to the... We're going to divide our fleet a little bit. We can send a couple of ships here to Embesa just to make sure everything's okay. Keep the airships here as well. Uh, send stuff to Cape Trelawney and then... Yeah, pretty much Cape Trelawney in the Old World, and then we'll start working through the Old World islands also. Um, the main one being, obviously, his capital. His capital has pretty big defense. You know, it's got defense on the other side. This isn't even the main side. He's got flak emplacements, cannon towers, cannon towers, flak emplacements. More there, more there. He's got the Big Bertha, or whatever it's called, Big Betty. So that's a huge one. He's got... um. On this side, similar situation, just loads of defenses. This is where his actual storage is. Was the rage. And, of course, we want to make... I think the tactic for Big Bertha 
I'm just gonna call it Bertha, is to just drop bombs on it because at least it can't fire up in the air. Once that's down, then maybe we swoop in. Drop pamphlets and stuff, cause havoc. Workforce shortage. Maybe accidentally do a little bombing, I don't know, just to see. Um, Workforce shortage. Yeah, but the economy is going to be struggling a lot, and I'll have to just uh, compare it to the previous episodes or the Workforce previous saves I have. Shortage. Just to see what we've really lost uh, in terms of cargo ships and stuff like that. Stations. Right, our fleet is basically together now. Individual, please. Chase them down. Moving to coordinates. So with these things, yeah, you just click it and then they fire a shot. Boom. Good shot. I was wondering if I'd be doing it right, because with the mortars you actually get a reticule, but with the other ones you don't. Alright, that's GG for Arthur in the New World. Like I said, he's coming in every now and then with a few little ships, but he's no reason to come in here unless he plans on sending military. Uh, and that's going to take all, take out, effectively, all the shipbuilding out here in the New World. So we're going to go back here, we'll pile everyone together, organize the ships, and then start the next episode by dividing up our fleets and continuing to eliminate islands. So that's going to have to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed this war-focused episode. The next one's going to be war-focused as well, probably. And then hopefully that'll be the last one. And uh, we'll just sort out the economy in a peaceful world and give Benty some islands. She's going to be loving life. <laughs> it's very dramatic music. For those wondering, it was Battlefield 1 soundtrack. All right, that's going to be it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Consider liking it if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and if you want to support even further, consider becoming a channel member. Channel members get early access to my videos ad-free, and also access to my Discord, where we've just set up a new Valheim and Satisfactory server for people to play on. Hopefully we can grow a community and add more games and perks in the future. Either way, I appreciate people just watching this far into the video. Thank you.